What's up everybody and welcome back to my Blockville series. We're just up here hanging out on the, the, the sweet, sweet tree. Mm. It says tile leaves dot zero up there. So this must be the very first leaves ever known to man. If we fly on over here, I want to show you guys a little something something. Uh, between episodes I went over to Jeffen's place because he was doing a bunch of tree breeding. And um... Or he was anyways, and I'm really interested in getting some of the other woods, if not collecting all the woods, so we will probably get into tree breeding once I figure out how to go about doing it. I think you just grow the trees next to each other. I don't have my specs anymore to uh, to see them. Actually, I think Krusty might have them. Um, it, do it doesn't matter. Th that's not what this episode's about. Uh, but you can see all the different types of trees here. I have, what is it, four times... For, we got about 16 saplings or so um, per tree, and uh, some of them I think are the same. Cherry wood here is not though. Cherry wood actually looks pretty cool. Um, by the same, I mean like when you bust them down, they make oak uh, planks. I, I was trying to stay away from that, um, unless it had a nice, cool looking log color, then I would keep it. Um, lime wood, I actually well, I had some lime wood on me. I don't have lime wood on me anymore, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's it's more of a, I don't know, it's like birch. It's, man, it's really actually hard to explain. Um, it's just kind of like birch, but it, like a little bit, it, it's like birch if it got sick. Um, I, I could show you here, but it's, 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 uh, it, you're not going to see it very well. Like, it just looks like normal wood, but there is a bit of a texture change. Um, other than that, uh, I think, you know, we got a couple more zombie heads up here. We do not have that many more creeper heads, but we're going to be solving that pretty soon, because if you read the title, we're going to be working with Tinker's Construct. But first, actually, before I even go down there, we need to go grab some lava cells. Down here, you can see that's my Tinker Construct room over there. Actually, yeah, that's where my lava is. We have our smeltery and stuff here. We will get to that here in a second. But right now, we need to make a chest because we're gonna start our own little quarry thing down below um, okay so we need to make a, we're gonna make a diamond chest so uh, that's eight of those and gold eight we're gonna have to replace our gold and diamonds eight and of course wood eight so uh, this is the iron chest mod which um, is very, very, very handy. Uh, and it's extremely easy to use. As you can see, the upgrades are very simple and straightforward. You just surround the chest in the block that you want, except for the diamond chest. Interesting. Uh, huh. Let's see how we make the diamond chest. Oh, glass and two pieces of diamond. Interesting. That was... Uh, that's uh, a lot cheaper than what it used to be back in the day. Uh, what about the upgrades? No. Oh, darn it. You can't do this in there. Gold to diamond chest upgrade. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, I always thought it was, uh, it was still diamond around a piece of wood, but um, I guess it's two diamonds and gold now. Very interesting. Things have gotten cheaper. Uh, so we need six of these. There we go. So we put our two diamonds, hopefully in the right places. And there we go, a diamond chest. Now a diamond chest is, uh, is very big. Now um, here are iron chests. They're about double chest. Um, about a double chest worth. Uh, gold chest is about three, and I think diamond is four. Um, it's a big difference between the two, and it's uh, it's very, very nice. So we got our lava cells. We have a diamond chest. Uh, we'll put our diamonds back. As you can see, I put an input chest here that has a, um, a, uh, a one of these, a chassis pipe on the bottom with a quick item sort module inside of it. Oh my gosh. Uh, since getting the dark craft armor, it's become almost impossible for me to get out of my door. Oh man. It's a bunch of slimes? Sure is. That and, um, 
dark craft armor <laughs> makes you punch like super cool like I love that sound and you do quite a bit of damage too depending on how um, how much uh, damage and stuff you put on here like I got a couple of things that bl that do bleed uh, everything has speed and wing on it uh, oh cool another miniature heart uh, I don't think I'm gonna probably do the same for the second time around but uh, anyways this is where our mining turtle is gonna start and uh, we're gonna put a chest right behind him uh, that is level we're standing on 16 so 17 18 19 that's fine because uh, we're not only going for diamonds we're going for all of the types of minerals so that's why we're using such a big chest uh, in fact let me just bust up that rock there uh, another thing with dark craft armor you can break simple stuff with your hand how awesome is that it saves a lot of time um, so anyways what we're gonna be doing is putting our lava in here and we're going to do refuel all and then we're just gonna run the default excavate command and we're going to do actually let's uh, let's let's see where are we at 287 so if we go to so that would be 10 right here let's do 20 by 20 I think a 20 by 20 is pretty good so if we just do excavate 20 and do it like that he moves on and does his thing hopefully he has enough fuel uh, if not um, I think he just freezes someplace until he looks for fuel or I think he comes back here I'm not sure but every time his inventory fills up all the way he's gonna come back here and deposit his stuff in his chest I'm hoping I'm hoping that this is gonna be big enough um, because I've had some of these uh, quarries get so big oh he's already on his way back yeah I think we'll be okay um, the only time I've ever had to increase that story is just when I do like things that are like 50 by 50 so there you go he just goes one lane at a time and he's gonna go all the way down to bedrock assuming he has the power which he should so we're gonna get or leave that guy alone we'll uh, get back up to the top here there we go and start working on some tinker stuff because although uh, dark craft is cool uh, tinkers is a little bit cooler so uh, to make your little smeltery thing here it's pretty easy um, I say that even though I moved this thing three times I had it up in this wall didn't like it because it was even and this is odd so I decided to move it and then I put it over here um, with a pretty cool this is where I started getting interested in different types of wood because we have our ebony wood we have teak and we have winge and winge is super hard to find because um, so far the only people that have found it were at the um, the villages I think I think they said Ar the arborist is that the right word it could be something else I don't know so what we're gonna be doing is um, is smelting some iron and making a, an iron tool or actually we have diamond but um, let's uh, let's find my books real quick um, interesting. Do I not have my books anymore? There's, uh, there's three books that come with this, um, this, uh, this mod. I can't remember. Okay, there's one. There's the other. And the third is gone. So it seems. So uh, materials in you is the first one, mighty smelting I think is the second one, and um, I don't even know how to. I think it's materials you and in, in you again. Yeah, this one right here. How do I get that? Uh, we could copy it that way, or we could put that one in. How can we make that one? Blank pattern and paper. Okay. Actually, I think just paper is in here. Because we'll just turn this one into that one. And um, we'll take a blank pattern out of our thing here. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we got all three. Uh, normally, when you start your game, when you fir very first come on the server, you have this brown book. And it tells you, basically, it's an introduction to the mod. Um, and it shows you... Or well, I guess it tells you about the resources and stuff, and then it shows you how to make all of the early beginner stuff. We need to make one of these actually right now to upgrade our tool forge 
to something uh, better than the the default one. So we need four iron blocks and a bunch of seared bricks. So that's easy enough. So if we just do iron and um, we're going to need, I don't know, that much. That'll work. And do I have any seared bricks? Oh my gosh, I have three. You gotta be kidding me. Hopefully that is enough. It is awesome. Oh, no. One and four. Thank you. Uh, oh, I guess we need the table too. No sense in trying to reinforce nothing. So here's the old tool station right here. Now, upgrading this uh, lets us get two extra tools. Um, I believe it's the hammer and... Um, no, I think that's actually more all together. I thought it was only two extra. I thought it was the hammer and the lumber axe. I thought those were the only two, but I think we get the excavator, the scythe, the cleaver, and the battle axe too. And maybe even repair and modification. See, this is another reason why I want to start using this instead of dark craft because I can't repair these. Even though this doesn't have armor yet, uh, which apparently it's going to have armor, later uh, later on um, I want us to get familiar with this so uh, we have our tool station and you can see there's other stuff a few tracer blockades may help you with the early survival that's kinda neat and barricades cool so this is how you make grout and you you uh, you cook grout into seared bricks which then you make into these ones and then you start making all of your other um, all of your other parts. So uh, our controller is right here. I don't know why it's showing us no lava. I think it's just glitching out right now because we have two tanks of lava here, which are as full as I can make them. And that's going to last us a very long time. Um, so we've looked through that book. Materials and modifiers. So basically, um, when you're looking at your tool station here, this is uh, actually a good good thing to come over here. I guess it's a tool forge now, no longer a, a station. Or was it? It nah, it doesn't matter. So, um, so we want to make a pickaxe. So we look at a pickaxe and we see the three parts that it takes to put them together. So we need a pickaxe head, uh, a, yeah, tool binding. I guess it's, it says right here, and a handle. So um, why don't we make a shovel since we don't have one? So we need a shovel head uh, and a handle. Now, I've already made a lot of brass casts of all the parts that I need to make the uh, the metal versions of things. Uh, basically you smelt down aluminum brass which is uh, three aluminum and one copper uh, to make one ingot or a few ingots I'm not sure um, so and the way you go about doing that is like you just get one that you can make in the part builder here so if we were gonna make a pickaxe head uh, pickaxe head oh it looks like I never had to make one cuz uh, whatever we'll do a shovel here um, I don't have a, a mile uh, darn uh, you can only do things stone and under in this bench that's why you use this to do the metal versions of those things but basically you put in your pattern and then your material here and then it gives you one of these so say we did add a stone so now we have a stone shovel head we put that inside of the casting table here and we pour aluminum brass on it which gets us one of these. Uh, I'd like that back, please. What's going on? Stop that. Thank you. Being weird. Okay. So we're going to uh, we're going to make a shovel. Uh, let's see. Where's the, the fourth book? I want to see what other materials that we have. Plant, cactus, obsidian, alumite. Oh, wait, no. I think the second book actually tells us. Mighty Smelting tells us which alloys we can make. So here we go. Um, so, man, I would like to make some of the uh, manulin, I think is how you pronounce it. I think that's how in my brain I've just been pronouncing it. It's just uh, manulin. Uh, co two cobalt and two ardite. I don't have ardite. Uh, alamite is five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian. 
Uh, I don't know if we have that much aluminum. Uh-huh. We got some raw aluminum. I guess we have some aluminum berries, but I think those only go smelt into nuggets. Hmm. Interesting. So, see, we have no more aluminum. Aluminum is pretty hard to get. Um, I guess we could check our spawn system, which uh, I helped create with Krusty Mustard. Uh, basically, this remote orderer that I'm holding right now, the pink one, is tied to um, the ME system at spawn. So if I right click, I send out uh, establishing a connection at destination cost a 3500 energy to connect to that system and see what's in there. And uh, it looks like we have tin and copper, iron and gold. Uh, I do need gold, so let's get a couple of stacks of gold. Um, because we are very low and they have 13,000 because they just consistently make this all day. So I will request two, uh, request two of those. Maybe if I start using words. And um, uh, I think that's actually we could use some emeralds. They got 2,000. Two stacks will be fine. I, I don't think we're ever going to use all two stacks. So I think that'll be fine. I, one can hope, right? Um, and we'll take two stacks of diamonds as well. So I just put in uh, an order of uh, all that. So all I got to do now is open an ender pouch, which is tied to a thing there. And I have access to all those things, which I can just grab. And um, now I could just put those all in my systems. Actually, I don't even think I have a place for emeralds yet. And uh, it looks like my chest that I have my diamond and stuff into. Oh no, it's 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 not. Uh, it's not full at all. Okay, it did take it. Uh, but we did run out of gold last time, so. Um, the better way to go about doing this is setting this to where it leaves one, uh, which I'm not sure where to do that. I think maybe I got to put in a disc or something. I don't know what this is used for. I just know the basic operations of this. So uh, we'll have to go into that. Or maybe one of you guys can tell me um, how to make it to where I don't take a whole stack, but just one. Maybe it's a... Uh, Maybe it's in here, the provider thing. Leave first stack. Okay. Leave item one, and there we go. So I got to do that for all of those, uh, which I will do later. But for now, we need... Uh, let's just do iron. We'll do iron just to start ourselves off. Because we know iron. We know how easy it is. Uh, so we'll get 10 bars of iron. We'll just wait for that to spit out. There we go. We got a 10 bars. Now I just got to put them inside of here. There we go. And those are going to heat up and smelt down in um, in our smelter here. There it goes. Okay, so it's going to take some time. Um, during that time, is it this one? I believe so. Actually, what's the shovel? The excavator. Which is a large shovel head. Uh, wow, it doesn't tell you what you need here. A plate, and uh, which we don't have. Uh, something, oh, it's a creeper above us. I was going to say, something's walking above us. It's this guy. Just cruising around up top. And he's got a buddy over here, too. Get off my lawn. Oh, hey, my, uh, my tree grew back here. Awesome. I'm going to have to chop that down later. Okay, where are we at? Almost. Oh, there we go. Our fuel is finally kicking in. So we're going to need that. And uh, we're going to make our uh, tool rod out of paper. Uh, the reason being, uh, assuming that paper is shown here. There it is. Paper. Um, you can see paper stack. If I was to make a paper pickaxe, I'd have a durability of 30, which is not a lot. That's maybe, what, four swings? into something um, uh, mining speed is 2.0 which is pretty low mining level you can only do stone um, base attack zero hearts but this is what I want right here we're making a paper rod which gives us a plus one to our modifiers and modifiers are basically um, 
Well, it's exactly that. I mean, they, they modify the, the tool. So a diamond modifier adds 500 extra durability and mining level is increased to three, level three. Um, it's not stackable, so you can only do it once, uh, but you can see it adds a little bit of diamond there on the tip. An emerald, this is one of the reasons why I grabbed emerald, adds 50% more durability instead of an, a hard number. It's, uh, it's a percentage, which is usually better. And uh, mining level increase to level two. That's not what we're going to go for this time. And then we have redstone, which is fantastic because it adds a speed boost to uh, to it. So it is stackable, so you have to add in a lot. Um, so once you increase your level of redstone to 50 out of 50, the boost is 4.0, making a wood pickaxe equivalent to speed to iron. Um, and then we have auto repair, which is off of mossy cobblestone. Um, which I don't, I don't believe I have personally. I don't. So, uh, did you, do you guys remember if there was summit spawn? There isn't. Uh, I think I might be able to go take some from Krusty without him being too angry. I don't know. I do want auto repair. That's sort of a big deal. So let me go check his house real quick and uh, see what's up with that. There he is. Krusty. His house is pretty freaking sweet. Um, he has a lot of really cool stuff down here. Uh, oh man, he took my spectacles off. Uh, okay, and uh, his terminal here. He has 32. That's not a whole lot. Now, is there a way for us to make mossy with this pack? I guess that's probably something I probably should have checked out first. I don't see it here. I see the fence. Huh, that's interesting. Um, whoa, I don't want that much. I think it. I think it's nine. Oh no. Okay. Uh, okay, that's all the uses for it. But yeah, I was right. It was all nine for a ball of moss. Huh, okay, so you can't craft it. Maybe you can with a minium stone. I don't know, I feel like um, minium stone might see it as like a decorative block. Okay, so we have our ball of moss now, uh, which is just nine cobblestone, mossy cobblestone in a square, and our iron is melted. We have teen, teen. We have ten ingots uh, here, and we have our mold for our shovel head. All we gotta do now is just right-click this to pour it. There we go, and now we have an iron shovel head. We take it on over to the tool forge. Go to the normal shovel because we're not making the the crazy one and put our two things in there so our paper rod and our iron shovel and you can see it put it together here i'm going to call this um i'm going to call it gonna call it cheese its like this just cheese dash its so there we go we have cheese its here and uh, now since we have extra modifiers on there so we have uh, up to four now because of the paper um, we can add in our modifiers here which first off we're gonna do our ball of moss which has moss you can see there and now it becomes uh, or it has auto repair 
So we put that back in there, and now we need to grab a diamond. And some redstone. I'm not sure how much redstone I'm going to need, so I'm grabbing a lot. It's better if you do it in blocks, because it'll be... It'll add it faster. And personally, I don't care if my redstone is in blocks or not, so we will just make these all blocks. Just like that. And we'll go over here and put our blocks in. So you can see every time we put it in now, It'll be 9, now it's 18, 27, 36, 45, and then after that, if you want to max it out, you're going to need 5 separate ones. 2, 3, 4. You can just keep going until it, it won't grab it anymore. Oh, now it's out of 100. Oh, we used another modifier accidentally. Whoops. Okay, so I messed that up. That's fine. Um, because this is just a just a shovel and there we go we'll top it off with uh, iron or a diamond which adds 500 durability to it and there we go we have our first shovel Cheez-Its from Tinkers now hopefully everything will have mossy on it we're gonna have to figure out a way of getting that faster but um let's uh, let's just go down here all right and uh, oh you can see our Corey is doing pretty good. Our guy is coming back over this way. Let's um, add some light for him. Hopefully his fuel is doing all right. But you can see it's a decent little hole and it's going to go down a couple more levels. Uh, silver. Nice. Coal. So I wonder how... Nope. Not very quick on stone at all. And... Uh, just try, okay, here we go. A bunch of gravel. There you go. It's not super quick, but it is a shovel that's going to repair itself. It's a, a shovel that's going to last me a very long time. As you can see, the durability is actually lasting quite a bit. Um, that bar is barely going down. Which is very nice. So we're going to be making more tools with this in the future. But not right now, because this episode is over. If you guys like this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Maybe leave uh, some uh, suggestions of what you want to see me work with next. Um, either with more tinkers, because we can make more advanced stuff uh, with different modifiers and everything. And I believe this repairs faster while in the sun. Uh, I could be completely wrong. Hello, son. Repair my shovel. Eh. There you go. But uh, the good thing is, is that uh, we do have a couple more modifiers on this thing. Um, not, not not different modifiers. I mean, like we have a bunch of redstone that we can now add to it to make it even faster. So even if I wasn't happy with um, how fast it was beforehand. Oh, no. One redstone short. So that's why it's nice to actually have redstone with you too. So there we go. Now we've uh, we've uh, we're at a hundred to hundred, which I think should be much quicker. Yeah, that, that is that is definitely quicker. So uh, anyways, guys, again, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm pretty happy to finally get into Tinkers because uh, I've only played with it a little bit, but now we can make tons of really awesome tools and hopefully in the future the near future um if it's supported in 152 um we get armor and stuff because that would be awesome to have tinker's armor i'm gonna go to sleep and skip the night and i will see you guys later for another blockville series and i'll see you guys later for another blockville video